that grab that square and swing that thing Keep on me who blow, what's that? Make sure you keep working Hey, 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 what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a QA. and a I asked my Snapchat and my Instagram to send me in questions. On Snapchat it was that YOLO thing. Um, so it was, an, like, an, uh, uh, it was anonymous so like I don't know who sent the questions but it's cool, I don't really mind. And on Instagram I also put up the little question thing on my story. People would do my lips are dry. Boom! Man's back with a vase line, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, I just got back from the dentist and I got my braces tightened, so kind of, my teeth are kind of hurting right now. But, um, yeah, so if, like, for all you lot that have braces, you know, in it, it's like my teeth are just finished. Yeah, let's get straight into it. Question is, where are you trying to go after Brit? After Brit, for all you lot that don't know, I'm at Brit school in year 12 studying dance it's a two-year course so around this time next year i'll be finishing after the break i'm gonna just bang training like i'm gonna get my training in like all styles like just pattern my training for like a year and then go straight into the industry after that like literally start teaching that like, trying to pick jobs trying to tour and yeah next question how did you get into dance weren't you on footy before but young football before yeah i don't know who sent this but clearly you knew me before so when i was younger i was playing football this was mainly because my older brother was playing football and i just thought like i kind of had to like i don't know <laughs> for all you men that know yeah i was a baller in it i mean let me not even lie i could be playing for arsenal right now england everyone you know what i'm saying <laughs> I'm a baller, don't get assisted though, no cap. Yeah, my right foot still, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, um, I don't know, like, I just wanted to do something different, like, I always wanted to dance, like, I just love dancing, innit? And acting, do you know what? Before I was dancing, I was acting, that's the worst thing, like, I went to, like, a drama school, so I was doing acting and dancing, but I was more on the acting side, doing drama and that, whatever. But I just love, like, dancing more, innit? But yeah, man still got the techers, you know what I'm saying? Next question, where do you see yourself in the future? Um, in the future, most definitely I'm not living in the UK, like, I'm trying to go out. Unless I'm living in, like, a city, like, I can't, I, I can't see myself living here anymore. No Next question, um, how tall are you? I am five foot seven. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm actually 5'7, 5'6, 5'6, 5'7. Something like that. I haven't got measured in time though. Like, some like 5'6, 5'7, something like that. Next question Do you like Brit school? Um, Yeah, no, I do like it. I feel like if the people that wasn't there, that are there now, like my friends and that, the, like, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. But that's like social wise, learning wise. I mean, I do dance in it. Learning wise, it's actually pretty good. Like, I've learned a lot. And I'm talking about doing ballet, contemporary, jazz, tap. I've never done any of that before I went to Brit. So, um, it's actually all that like, benefited me. And I've learned a lot. Um, but as a whole, collective, yeah, I do like it. But it's just so tiring. Like, dancing every day, like, everything just gets too much. And you can't. At Brit, yeah, you can't get caught up in the social life because it just all becomes a myth. But, um, yeah, yeah, just, if you do go Brit, just go there, do your thing and bust out, honestly. Mums. Um, but, yeah, no, I do like it there. Um, next question. Favourite colour to wear other than black at IMD? I don't really mind, you know. Recently, I've been very, like, outrageous with my fits. But I don't really mind, but it's neon season, baby, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Neon season. <laughs> hey, are you done? All right, next question. Um, When is your birthday? My birthday was actually was quite recent. It was this month, um, May the 15th. So note that down in the calendars, you know what I'm saying? For next year. If you ever don't say happy birthday to me, suck your mum, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Whoever's gonna say happy birthday to me, that's all new. You know what I'm saying? I remember this. 
yeah, I turned 17. So for all you lot that don't know, 17. For everyone that said happy birthday to me, I appreciate it all. Thank you. Um, like, just love, love for all of you. You know what I'm saying? Next question. How old were you when you started dancing with IMD? Um, yeah, for all you lot that don't know, I dance with IMD Legion. Um, I've been there for about, I joined at the end of 2016. I think like November, November 2016. So, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, three years. Um, not three years, I'm tripping. Two years and like a bit. Yeah. Yeah, two years and a bit. I'm bugging. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been at ND for like two years and a bit now. I didn't even ask the question. So, I was like. 15. <laughs> 15 when I joined, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 15 when I joined, yeah, 15. And let me tell you, I was I was so dead. If you don't think I'm dead now, yeah, like dancing back then, I was even dead, like, I was even more. Oh, it was peak, it was the peak. I'm going into a crew like that, yeah. Oh, let me just not even start. I was too dead. Next question My favorite artist, well, my favorite artist right now is Billy Eilish, like I just said, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but um I don't think I have a favourite artist but I can give you like my top three Dave D Block Europe and Tom Mish Tom Mish he's a legend mate he is a legend yeah all of his songs just when you're in that mood to just chill just lay back like just when in a relaxing mood it's just Tom Mish will go to your life and mum's next question what do you want to be doing in five years I kind of touched on this already but um in five years, or even like three, three to five years, I want to be traveling. Like, I want to travel. I want to go to Japan, Hawaii, um, the Philippines. I, need, I even want to go to China. I want to go to Tokyo. Oh my days. But obviously, you got to be financially stable. And, and I want to travel with someone. Next question. One thing you like girls doing and one thing you don't. And um, one thing that I like girls doing is like, and they're just real like, when they're checking up on you like, you know when you get a message and they just pop up like, hey like, how was your day? Have you eaten? And, like, just like genuine like, like kindness like, just just being nice and, and humble like, and just genuine kindness like, honestly. They don't, they don't take a look like, they're just being nice. Um, one thing I do is when they act up in front of their friends, yeah? <laughs> like, like there's no need for that. I just, I just hate when girls act up in front of their, in front of their friends. And it's very jarring, man. Just like, grow up. And... Anyway, next question. What's your type? Um, my dream type, yeah? It's like an like, out of this world blazing thing, like, you know, like, black and, like, Chinese are, like, Philippine, like, like Blasian, like so pang. Oh, Blasian girls are just top of the league. Nah, I think Blasian girls are just too dope. But um, they don't live in London. <laughs> or they're not, or they're not around my age. Um, my my type, my type. Okay, let me. I can tell you this. All my exes, yeah, have been light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my days, all my eggs have been light skinned. But I don't really have a type still. I don't have a type. I like black girls, I like white girls, I like mixed race, light skin girls, like Asian girls, I like yellow, I like blue, I like green, I like orange, I like red. Yeah man, I don't I don't really have a type. As long as you're nice, like I don't really care about looks looks. As long as I'm like genuinely attracted to you. I don't care if no one else finds you pink, do you know what I mean? As long as I find you pink and you're like genuinely like like nice and like you're just real, like you're just down to earth in it. Then yeah, I don't really mind what 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 you look like. Um, next question, milk first or cereal first? Um definitely cereal first, because you have to put the cereal, then the milk, slap it in the microwave. I don't eat cold cereal by the way. Whoever eats cold cereal, you're tapped once. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. My cereal first for sure. Now, I mean. Next question. My biggest fear. I'd have to say spiders. Honestly, yeah. I get some huge, huge spiders. Like, 
huge spiders is pee. I think I have arachnophobia. Actually, no, not like I do think I have it, but not to an extreme extent. Like I just hate spiders. Bro. They actually get me so paranoid. Like if I was to see one in my room, I would just keep looking around. Like I couldn't help it. Like um, next question: How many people suck to your D after you did a collab with Fredo? Well, for one, I didn't collab with Fredo. I was in his music video. Surprisingly, that's not even surprisingly. No one really like, like sucked my D after I was doing Freddy's music video because I don't know, like, it was just weird. It was unexpected. I feel like from the outside perspective, it was unexpected because even when I did that job, like, when I when I applied for it, I didn't, I didn't think like I was gonna get it type of thing. But I just went for it and just thought, why not? Everyone was very supportive though. So like, people were messaging me tagging me in that like, saying I'm in the video I, I didn't even know it came out like that's it was so weird it was like at 11 o'clock I think at night and I was getting messages messages but I wasn't on my phone like I don't know what I was doing I didn't even know like it came out people clocked that I was in it before I even clocked that it was out but yeah now that was crazy but the support from that was mad though like I don't know people just happy for me I guess support my thing now they um but yeah, no, that was a dope experience though. Like, like Fredo's a cool guy. You know, Fredo's a really dope, like, humble guy. Like, he's very, like, real. He's just real, innit? Um, bear tool though. Bear tool thing. Um, next question. How did you get into dancing? You're amazing, by the way. Oh, thank you. You never said that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, how did I get into dancing? Okay, shall I tell you? Shall I? Okay, so I run you down the story real quick. I was watching ABDC, America's Best Dance Crew, with like Jabberwock Keys, Electro Lights, um, Quest Crew, like all of them look on ABDC, proper like into it, like enjoying it a lot. And then I, I was also like in my front room watching it, trying to copy their moves, look, look, like what they were trying to do in that. And then like later on, like a couple of years after that, got to dance with a show in Akai, I think it was 2012 or 2014, one of them. Akai won, he was dancing on it. Um, and then from when I saw Akai dancing, I was like, yeah, like, I wanna do this, like, I don't know, I was mad inspired. No, like, I wanted to be like him, like, it was mad, like, into just the same, like, I was just mad inspired. And that was my role model for, for like, a couple of years, dance-wise. Um, but now, if I see him, I smoke him, you understand? I'm just too sturdy at this game, yeah. If you wanna battle me, hit me up. Come battle out. Smoke. Oh, y'all, nigga. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Next question Was you adopted because you look nothing like your brother? He's so thing. Whoever wrote this, <laughs> whoever wrote this is so wet. <laughs> now, let me put a picture up of me and my brother right there. Yeah. You tell me. Comment down below if you look the same in it. But no, if anything, he was adopted because he is so ugly. I wasn't adopted though. Next question, do you believe in horoscopes, zodiac signs, slash zodiac signs? Yeah, no, I do believe in horoscopes. Like, my sign is a Taurus. I follow this Taurus horoscope page on Instagram. And, like, when they post the horoscope, like, it's so relatable in the middle of time. Like, it's crazy, like, it don't make sense. Like, I find it all weird how your star sign, zodiac sign, whatever, is so true to how you are as a person. Like, it fits your characteristics so, like, well, like, it's so weird. But yeah, nah, I do believe in that stuff. Um, what job do you aspire to have in the next 10 years? Next 10 years, I'll be 27. I want to be a full-time YouTuber. I want my channel to be popping by then. 100%. I want my channel to blow. Um, next question. How many children do you have? <laughs> that would make no sense because I don't have no children. I don't even know. But, um, how many children do I want? Two, one, one or two. I don't know more than two. Like, I'd have that one child. If I'd have one, it would be so I can like, spoil him or her. But two, a boy and a girl. Have ever been in love? I don't know. But what's love, you know? Girls just break your heart. Like, they're just all trash, man. Girls are trash, 2K19, do you know what I mean? <sighs> Next question. <laughs> what made you start YouTube? Um. I've always been watching YouTube and I just thought like I might as well just give it a try and see if it bangs like why not like, there's no harm in me trying and I've just always wanted to just try it and see how it was like 
back in the day, yeah, not even back in the day, like a couple years ago, I even tried to film my own Minecraft. Oh, let me just not even. <laughs> um, next question: At what point would you consider yourself successful in this life for yourself personally? Um, at what point in my life would I consider myself successful? If I have a family, nice car, nice house, you know, living in the UK, my parents, my family's lit, eating right, like, that's that's successful. Man. That's what I consider being successful. Personally. Um, but yeah, just having like just just having no worries, like and being at like, peace of mind. I feel like if I have a peace of mind. Then, yeah. Have you got a girlfriend? No, I do not have a girlfriend. My top three favorite songs right now are Billie Eilish, Lovely, Dave Leslie, can't listen to that, and Stormzy Vossy Bot. Those three songs are just lit, 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 lit. lit. Next question: Who was your first beat? I'm a virgin, in case any of you didn't know, you know. I'm celibate, as I said in my last video, if you watched it all day through. I'm celibate, you know what I'm saying? Wait until marriage and that, yeah, man. I have to do my good deeds and that. Virgin, hey, stay in school, kids. <laughs> oh, gosh. My mum watches these. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Go check out my last video. Go check that out, like, subscribe. Get me to 250 subscribers by the by Sunday. Let's do that. Comment down below what you want me to do next. Let's set a like goal for this. Um, can we hit 50 likes? 50 likes, and then yeah. I'm trying to like create myself a schedule where I'm uploading weekly, like once a week, every Friday, seven o'clock. So let's see how long I can keep up with that. Um, but yeah, now I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Shout out to everyone supporting me. We're on like what two, three, four subscribers. Quite good, you know. We got that in like a month. So yeah, proud. Um, hey, thank you for watching. Yes, yeah, sir. You dig? Swing that, drop that, stir and swing that. Pinkies bought me for blow. What's that? Make sure you keep working. Make sure you keep working.